Hi guys, just going to do a Christmas decoration based on one of Slider 2732's circuits. I'll put a link to his original in my video description and the reason I'm doing it is I remember seeing his video where he put some LEDs in a little Christmas tree and then lit them wirelessly and when I was in the bargain store yesterday I saw this little Christmas tree which is actually a fibre optic one and it reminded me of Slider's project so I thought I'd see if I could replicate it I actually did some pancake coils oh, a while back based on some work done by Mongrel Shark which was based on some work by Slider 2732 and I did that to light up a little bunch of LEDs which was to go in a glass bowl that my wife wanted to light up. Um, I'm actually using a 9 volt battery here, Slider only uses a single AAA battery I think. Um, I've also got quite a large resistor in circuit oh, just off the screen down here. Anyway, the idea will be to put some sort of coil underneath this tree so that it picks up the power and lights up um, its fibre optics, which no doubt just go back to a single LED in the, in the base somewhere. So we'll have a look at that in a second. But if I just move the camera a little bit, one thing I was toying around with was this is the spin, uh, not spindle, whatever you call it, the arm from a DVD drive. No it isn't. It's from a hard drive, isn't it? Anyway, that's got a nice coil on it, and if I move that over, I think you'll see I've got it connected up to this LED. It's on the same breadboard as the rest of it, but it's a separate circuit. But you might be able to see that picks up the current quite nicely as well. So I was planning to actually make a coil, but I think, because that's such a nice little coil there, even though it's an odd shape, I'll see if I can actually get it out of the metal casing and just stick that on the bottom of the Christmas tree and see if that works. Because that would be an interesting use of this coil. I'll have to be very careful that I don't destroy it trying to take it apart. If I do destroy it I'll just have to make a new coil. Let's have a look at the Christmas tree first. Obviously designed to work off a couple of AA batteries in there. I suppose we ought to try it out first. Let's know what these batteries are like. There's a couple of good ones in there. go, a glowing Christmas tree. Nothing terribly exciting. But as I say, what I'll do is I'll connect the wires up. <laughs> In fact, looking at that, is that going to come apart easily? I might be able to pop the coil inside. There's an LED. So if I can get that little coil apart, I should be able to pop it straight inside, connect it up to that LED, and it should work. As simple as that. And I'll have gained myself a handy little AA 
battery box. Well, I've got to say, that's worked almost too easily. Managed to get it apart without destroying it, which surprised me, because I usually manage to destroy things like that. And if I just hold my wires across the LED there, there you go. No problem at all. So I could just fit that straight in the base and connect it directly to the LED. Job done. Just wondering whether I could use these headphone um, wires to make a small coil. Because I think they have a conductor well, they should have two conductors in each sheath. So, I could try wrapping that round and doing it like a, a quad filer coil. Connect the end of one to the beginning of the other, to the end of the next one, to the beginning of the next one. Doubt whether the camera will even pick up the conductors in here. They're tiny. One, two. One, two. That's the wire wrapped up around the first thing that I found, which is my little grinding wheel, which unfortunately is filthy, so I've got black fingers. But I'll let the hot glue cool down, then see if I can get it off in one piece. Right. There's my little pancake coil some hot glue on this side as well. Carefully tin the end of each wire. So now I've got to do the sequence that so we go in on one, let's say the green or blue, whatever colour that is, round and round so we come out on that blue, connect that one to that brown, round and round which means we come out on that brown Connect that one, if we get the colours nicely, to that brown. So that goes round and round and will come out on that brown. Connect that brown to that red, that will go round and round and come out on that red. So we go in on that green or blue or whatever colour it is and come out on that red. Uh, LED, red wire goes round the coil, comes out there goes to that brown wire around the coil, comes out there, goes to the brown wire of the other pair around the coil, comes out there, connected to the blue wire I think it is, of the coil, goes round, comes out there, connected to the LED. Put that over my pancake and it works. Now is that the right sort of size? Could be. And a bit of hot glue. Tuck the wires up inside and connect them to that LED instead. So, I'd like to use that one, but because that was ready-made, I'd rather make one myself. So that's what this is all about. So that's what we'll do. Oh, well, there we are. It's fairly typical of me, a project that changes as we go through it. I was originally going to put a pancake coil under it, then I found this little chap which I was then going to use, and then I went back to putting a coil underneath it. Got a feeling I've got a loose wire in there. Still, that works. Job done.